And then, of course, there's the great Tom Wehrer. Ah! <laughs> so he wrote a series of songs. If you don't know Tom Wehrer, he was a, uh, not a professor at Harvard. He was a, a lecturer at Harvard uh, and a mathematician. But actually, he was best known for writing these satirical songs in the 50s, which he's still living off the royalties from. And he wrote a bunch of songs in the 60s for a TV show called That Was the Week That Was, which was sort of like The Daily Show, only it had a band and singers and stuff like that. Uh, and here are two of Lehrer's songs from that show. And the first one sort of sums up American foreign policy at the time, which was to invade any country that did anything we didn't like, like try to hold elections that weren't rigged. Come to think of it, that's still American foreign policy. And the second song was inspired by the stirring songs of World War I and World War II, like Over There and Keep the Home Fires Burning and the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy of Company B. And only whoever figured if there were going to be these songs written about World War III, they better be written before the war started because it was going to be really, really short. So um, here's his contributions. When someone makes a move of which we don't approve, who is it who always intervenes? UN and OAS, they have their place, I guess. But first, send the Marines. We'll send them all we've got. John Wayne and George C. Scott, remember those exciting fighting scenes. To the shores of Tripoli, but not to Mississippi. What do we do? We send the Marines. For might makes right, until they've seen the light. They've got to be protected, all their rights respected, till somebody we like can be elected. Members of the Corps all hate the thought of war. They'd rather kill them off by peaceful means. Stop calling it aggression, we hate that expression. We only want the world to know that we support the status quo. They love us everywhere we go, when in doubt. Send the Marines. All right, now this one. So long, Mom, I'm off to drop the bomb, so don't wait up for me. But while you swelter down there in your shelter, you can see me on your TV. While we're attacking frontally, watch Brinkley and Huntley describing contrapuntally the cities we have lost. No need for you to miss a minute of the agonizing Holocaust, yeah! Little Johnny Jones, he was a US pilot, and no shrinking violet was he. He was mighty proud when World War III was declared. He wasn't scared, no siree. And this is what he said on his way to Armageddon. So long, Mom, I'm off to drop the bomb, so don't wait up for me. So though I may roam, I'll come back to my home, although it may be a pile of debris. Remember, Mommy, here it comes. I'm off to get a commie. So send me a salami and try to smile somehow. I'll look for you when the war is over. An hour and a 